Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to introduce you uh, Fenty Beauty, the highlighter duo, three of them. I have it right here in front of me, one, two, and then I will swatch for the third one and three. So I'm going to make us uh, two looks and I will show you how you can use it in a multiple way. You can use it as a highlighter, as a set highlighter do. You can use as a eyeshadow, you can use as a blush. So they have a multiple function, this uh, small uh, two colors. They're pre uh, a bit pricey. Uh, I will tell you at the end what I think about the quality. Uh, and uh, they have a different packages I have right here. So uh, this packages and this packages. So two of them are the same kind of gold packages and the other one have a black packages. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. So, but they all highlighter duo, just with a different um, uh, colors. So let's start and, and if you don't know me, my name is Angelika Kasparova. I like everything was related to skincare. And by the way, my skincare part two, it's just came out. So you can uh, watch after this video. I will put a link below. Actually, I'm going to put this one after, but I still will put a link below. And uh, I like uh, fashion. I like everything what's related obviously to makeup, colorful makeup, but I also like nude with a new touch. And um, I also a dance instructor who loves to dance and teach. And today we're going to create two looks with a Fenty Beauty with highlight dew. So let's start. So, okay, uh, let's do the Fenty Beauty, the small palettes. And also I want to uh, also show you the Hourglass uh, Ambient. It's called a Light Aided Mini Sculpture Unlocked Illumination. Uh, basically, there is a four things inside. Let me show you. Beautiful packaging, love it. Look how cute is this. It's a little bit dirty. So I was keeping this for um, traveling, but uh, it's been a while, so I decided to show you. So there is a four thing. So first is a finishing powder, soft light. Second, it's a bronzer, golden brown. Uh, third, it's a blush, mood, fla mood of fla flash. And the fourth is a metallic uh, straw powder, champagne straw, straw light. So basically... It's everything. So if you want to bring one thing, you can just have this. So let me do first a bronzer. So I'm going to go with a bronzer. And this is the bronzer. It's very, very um, natural look, I would say. Very beautiful. So that's why I want to demonstrate it for you. So very light champagne and I think it has kind of no it's it's uh, I would say it's a silky one it doesn't have a shimmers it's more silky very natural so then I will go with the blush let me just grab another one I'll go with this brush blush I'll put it right here and as you can see, it's not that intense. It's really, really muted, natural color. Very different. I'm going to swatch. It. And I'm using the uh, refer number four. I suggest you to buy these brushes. They are amazing, natural brushes. Okay. And then we have a highlighters and this is the powder. So I'm going to, this is a refer number five and I'm just going to set everything with the powder. I didn't do anything. I just did the um, foundation BBCC cream and that's it. And now I will grab, I want, I love to wrap this kind of brush and do my highlighter more precise is BH Cosmetic number one. I love this brush a lot. 
it's kind of fluffy but it has a volume so I'm just going to grab this highlighter and I'm going to place it right here and if you can see it's really natural highlighter look can you see it beautiful I love it it's very kind of smooth and subtle nothing really crazy and I love to do that and I will do a little bit of here and here. I think it's okay. So can you see it? So love it, love it. Recommend this palette. Very good for traveling, as I mentioned already. Have this beautiful luxury uh, packaging. It's, uh, you know, our glass is not that cheap brand, but it has a very great quality and i'm very happy about this palette um okay so let's do swatches first so i have four uh, three of them so they are like highlighters um you can put it in a, as an eyeshadow you can put it as the blush uh, you can make it as a highlighter so i forgot i have a highlighter here but i will use it so let's start with this it's called um it's have these two colors and the colors is has a name here so this is this kind of colors i'm talking about so the first one is sand castle which is a brown one very neutral and the second one it's a uh, very blue metallic it's called a mint mint uh-huh mojito mint mojito and it has uh 3.5 grams in each and it's look like that let me show you this is how it's look like i've been using this and i really really love this color so let me just make a swatches so this is the the color i really love i think it's it's very flattery actually every time i wear this palette everybody asks what i'm wearing and this one is very neutral color brown uh, which is called sand also very nice especially for people who loves neutral i think you can go with this palette because it's not just let me go you're really a neutral person but you want a little bit of hint of the color i think this is a great uh op options for you and the quality is pretty good i'm going to talk about the quality later on so let's go with this one which has more brighter color it has a orange and purple purple pink so uh, the orange one is called minosa sunrise and the purple is sangria sunset so let's open this one i use this this one uh, not as many times as the other one but it's also beautiful i don't know i just never had the chance i think to use it so this how vibrant colors look like uh, so it's it said here kilowatt foil so let me also swatch so the first one i'm swatching is this beautiful orange gold i would say let me just do it here on my hand so this is the orange gold and the other one i'm going to swatch is very bright um, purple purple pink i would say this will be great to do the cheeks i think here we go even with blue you can do your highlight it's a highlighter too so this is the other one so we have one two and i'm going to have the last one and this also kind of i would say between these two palettes it's this one if you want to have more colors instead of this uh, palette with this blue you can have this palette so it's the two seven day vknd and pole side that's the name of the colors so the pole sides i'm just going to switch it now it has more uh, purple undertone and the other one is has more uh, pink so this is how the palettes look like and i'm swatching right this one is a as i said it's polo something polo 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 pole side so this is the color as you see it's more uh purpley it's really 
you don't have the same colors completely different to be honest and the other one which called seven day dick and y is this beautiful also very nice metallic very beautiful look at this color it's kind of um rosy i would say more rosy with a silver as well metallic silver and this one i would say more pinky uh purple so this is the four three palettes i have that's all you can see closely to each other there's the palettes very bright beautiful this is very i think this is the most neutral i would say yeah this is the most neutral then we have this one and this is the brightest one in the middle but as i said i love this blue a lot you will see how i put it at the beginning of my eye is also very like in the corner of my eye is also beautiful so this again the all colors i just want you to have a closer look and we're going to start to make some looks i i think i'm going to do two different eye uh two looks with this shadow to see how they perform and maybe swatch some of them on my cheeks to see how they go as a highlighter as well so let's start it okay let's start to create the look i brought the padma graph the enhancer so i'm going to place it right away on my eye, uh, we have all metallic colors here, so I'm going to just place it all over my lid and the other one as well. So we'll try to do two looks today. So we have basically six colors. So I'm going to start, I think, with this one, which uh, is seven days uh, B, K and D and pole side. And I'm going to, you know, this this also shades works perfectly with the finger, so I will see how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to start with this color, which is uh, pole side, and I'm going to go place it over here. They're pretty good. Maybe because I also put that in Hansen as well, infused the colors from Pat McGrath. So if I want to also grab with my finger I just but even with the brush it's pretty pigmented and pretty good so I'm just going to put it like this so you can see how the color perform and then I'm going to go I will try to use this color from this palette and then maybe I will mix with something this one is also very bright color so I can just place it like that overlap it with this color look how nice and fresh look it's nothing really dramatic it's really fresh and easy look how fast i basically almost done i just need to do my lower even if you don't want to to do lower you just do the mascara maybe liner and you ready to go how long does it take me like two seconds not even so i'll come back to this color it's just me, I want to do a little bit more. So if you're really in the rush, you really can just go like that. So I'm going to grab another color from this palette. I'm taking from this palette. And I'm going to use this one on my low lash, like that. To a little bit enhance some colors. Look how bright and Fragmented is that. I mean, this is beautiful. I just want to try as many colors as possible. And I'm thinking, I'm just because I'm doing this video and I want you to see more colors. I'm going with, like, you can use just that palette, okay? I'm just wanted to show you the colors. And I'm going to use this color. And you can choose which one you want. Maybe you want to buy one. They actually was on sale. I think it was Christmas time and I bought it. But uh, they're not that cheap. They're pretty pricey. I think they're 40. No, I'm not going to tell you how much is it. I can't remember. I looked. Um, but I know they're not cheap. But they're beautiful. 
beautiful quality and you can use it as a highlighter as well. I'm going to demonstrate how I'm going to use a highlighter. So you see, I did this look. I think that's enough. I don't want to use anything. Now I'm going to use this highlighter over here as a highlighter and I'm going to grab this. I know I have already, actually it's a highlighter uh, blush, I would say. So I'm going to use this beautiful pink and I'm just going to put it like that. You see what I mean? Like this is beautiful. Like you can use it as a blush, as a highlighter, as an eyeshadow. Maybe that's why it's cost that much. But they are beautiful, beautiful quality. I really love them. I love that it's so easy to work with. You just put two colors and you're ready to go. You grab, you put two colors, you grab, you put your blush and you go, you know? That's it, you're done. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to mix it with this yellow one and I'm going to place it right here so you can see it. You see? Just for you to see. Now, we're going to with another, I'm going to finish first and then I put the lashes this time. I will do something different. Now, what we didn't use, we didn't use brown, we didn't use uh, we didn't use orange so I'm going to start with the orange and I'm going to place it right here like that again I will try to use just two colors to see how this palette performs so let's see I just use this palette okay and I did this which took me like what two minutes not even and I'm going to put this. Look how nice there. Really goes together so well. Look at this. Wow. I never used this palette so much. I love it. No, I like this palette a lot. And I'm going to grab this color, the the uh, pink purple, and I'm just going to place a buff on my um, eyebrow like the buff on top of on top of my bowl and now I will come back with this beautiful orange and I'm going to go the same thing I will do over here like that okay now I want to to use the brown so I'm going to go with this brown one because I haven't used it yet I know it's very light so I'm just going to go over here like that. I don't know if you can see it. It's very light brown, very light like that. And now I'm going to go emphasize with my orange again. So we just use this color for you to see oh, what I did. Now I'm going to go put it in the middle of my eye like that to kind of compromise that look with my upper one to bring this together that's so cute I don't know normally I don't I don't like that orange that much because I like more like a corally color but this one orange it's really good I don't know what I did let my eye now crying. Okay, now, should I stay with the same one? I'm just going to grab, <laughs> I'm cheating. I'm just going to grab this palette and I'm going to go at the beginning of my eye. Actually, I can use the other one too. So I will grab this color from the other palette and I'm going to go over here at the beginning like that, at the beginning of my edge. And I'm going to just grab the other one and just blow the little bit. Look. Nice. And then I have an idea. Uh, don't judge me a lot that I use everything. But if you want more simple one, you see how this color perform. You just use two of them and you're ready to go. Just choose which color you like. I go with this light one, which one is called. I, I don't call the names. I forgot. But I... Uh, told you at the beginning the names of these colors that not that many so you can guys remember or you can look again and see so I'm using this one 
which are very, very flattering too. I mean, they're all color nice. Like choose which one you want. And you can do, as I mentioned before, I keep talking the same thing. You can just do two colors. I just want you to demonstrate all of these colors. So how long it took me? Nothing. Even with all these colors I did. You see how this eye more open. I want to add here more. And I think I will go, since I was using this palette, I'll go with this lighter color. And I'm going to add it over here like that to just open my eye more like this. Now, in this cheek, I don't know if I want to use more like... Oh, in this cheek, I want to use something else as a heart, as a blush. Do I need to use? Um, you know what? I'm going to use this one. I think this will be too yellowish if I use orange. Can you see it? It's very, very subtle. Like that. And I think I'm going to definitely try this one as well so I use that palette here so I want to mix it so let's do but I did already this one I want to use blue as well so let's finish with this one then I will demonstrate you a little bit of blue how it's look like so I'm going to go with this yellow one and just you can see it and I'm going to mix it with the pink as well like I think this one is great for cheeks you can see it more than the other one but again it depends what you like oh my goodness I think I did a lot here let me just fix this I think that's okay now I just want you to demonstrate how the blue like on cheeks this blue like okay I have no space really I have no space but I'm going to demonstrate it for you let me put it here you see how it is this is the blue one now I'm going to go with this brown and I'm going to demonstrate it over here how this brown look like I know I don't do normally that but I just want to demonstrate it for you, you see how beautiful is that it's very very shiny okay I think I had enough. Okay, let me do this one here. A little bit. I mix everything. Anyway, so I just wanted to show how they look on your cheeks. You can see this blue. You can see that pink. That's what I put in this one. And I put also here, I put orange. I don't know if you see orange. I don't know if you see orange. And if you don't see it, you're going to see it now. So this is the orange one. You can mix it if it's too much for you. I feel it too yellow. Uh, you can mix it with um, pink. So let me come back. Let me do my uh, uh, lashes and maybe some highlights, and I will come back and. So show you let's. The pink. This is look number one. Let's see look number one. And this is a look number two. So you can see how this perform this metallic duo highlighters on my eye and if you like this color story and they have orange as you see purple um, pink bright pink with a purple undertone and more neutral uh, purple and the blue one which I use it at the beginning of my end the corner so so I finished my look. I just uh, put a little bit of the black liner. So how I did, I put a liner like that. Okay, and then I grabbed the brush, like more defined brush, and I just spread this color and make it like it's a dark liner, but it's not sharp. It's kind of look like it's a uh, more a shade than it's a, a uh, like a precise liner. That's how I love to do it. So I did this and then I put a liner, water liner orange from NYX and I put water liner uh, lily color from uh, Annabelle. 
over here. And I put a black mascara, the sky high mascara and the low lashes. I use the uh, blue candy, uh, uh, hard candy mascara. If you can see, it's a bluish color. I don't know if you can see it. And basically that's it. Also what I use, I use today. That was actually very surprisingly what I did today. You see, it's kind of like a reddish brown, my lips. So what I did, I put two liner. I know, I love to do that. I even would love to change this color maybe for something more subtle as well. So I had the options, but I choose this today. I think it's fine. So what I did, I put the Pat McGrath liner, which called uh, Suburbia. This is like more uh, brown. Uh, with a pink undertone and then I put this one 19 no sorry it's a uh, called blood lust which is a really dark uh, I would say burgundy red with a pink undertone I would say um, a liner and then I put the gloss which is not that sheer I, I don't think it's called it's not a sheer i think it's a it has a color it's a from q the beauty and the color is called a mystical so that's the color i used this before in my previous videos it has like a blue undertone with a rose and has a glitter like a shimmer inside it's basically like a gloss as you can see so i thought it will match with my um, with my look today. So I think that's it. Okay, let's talk about this three uh, highlighter duo, what I think about it and um, uh, what I, if I recommend it for you. Yes, I will recommend it for you, but they're a little bit pricey. Um, I don't know how I'm going to place it, uh, uh, give them the first, second, third place. I think they're different. And the first one I bought, it was this color, and I really, really love it. Every time I put it, I already mentioned I had the compliments because of this blue bright color. But also this one, you definitely can use it as a highlighter, and you also can put it together. It looks pretty good. Uh, I really love it. I will suggest for people who love nude but afraid of colors to buy this one because it's most neutral one. The second one, I would say the less bright is this one, obviously, the people who likes a uh, more purple color, but they are afraid of this uh, really dark color. So these two are really, really great together because they really complement each other. You can have this one at the edge of your eye and this one you can put it at the beginning. Also why I like this, because they have a multiple uh, usage, you can use it as a highlighter, as a shadow as a uh, blush so you just grab this and after uh, five minutes you are already done you don't need really nothing to put just mascara and maybe a liner that's it so that's why i like and it looks very beautiful and uh chic i would say so the third one i think is the brightest one people who loves really bright color i will also suggest this one and i was surprised how this orange look like i haven't used it for a while this uh this highlight the highlighter duo but i really like how it's complement each other these two colors i was actually surprised normally i like coralish color i don't like this um really really uh, orange colors but this orange colors for some reason i love it and i love a lot with this together with this uh, uh pink purple color also it's very good for a uh, for your cheeks, for your blush. I think this is the brightest one. So if you like this kind of colors, so you can use it definitely for your cheeks and emphasize more also. It depends what intensity you, intensity you want. So you can put it more or you can put it very lightweight. So all of them you can use as a blush or highlighter. Don't forget that. So I think that's it. Also, maybe wait for promotion. I bought this one, the first one in promotion. And this uh, highlighter still been for a while. Um, and I really love the quality, to be honest. I never disappointed with quality. It's a very beautiful, silky, metallic look. Looks very kind of uh, chic in your eyes, as you see. 
and very easy to remove actually and just a nice something it's something really different so i think that's it i already show you what i use i already tell you everything what i think about these products and um, don't forget to subscribe and like if you enjoy this video i hope this video uh, help you to choose uh, which color you like and if you really still don't know, go to Sephora and swatch them and see which color is really um, more attracted to you or goes with your skin tone better. And um, also I advise you to check out my uh, sk favorite skin product, which I already have part one and I already put part two. And that's it for today, I think. I don't want to hold you anymore. So have a beautiful day or evening, depends where you are. And I see you very soon. Пока-пока, bye-bye.